Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video and I'm sure you all know where this is going. Today, we're doing the Spark Staff versus the Golden Rake as I said I would in my last video on Bee Swarm on how to get treats fast or not, sorry, that's a different video, my bad, on my five mistakes that Bee Swarmers make so I can prove to you why it's a mistake to purchase the Spark Staff over the Golden Rake and, you know, yeah. So this is gonna be like a comparison, so here is what both of them do right here's the golden rake this is the issue with it it's 20 million honey right pretty cheap well not there's no issues with the golden rake but there's a lot of issues with the spark staff so the golden rake collects seven pollen from four lines of four patches in 0.75 seconds every fifth scoop is a supercharge to reach farther and collect more however the spark staff is literally just it's it's 60 million honey right it's 40 million honey more collects all pollen from the three tallest nearby flowers in 0.6 seconds now what i thought i'd do is I would do like a full-on hardcore apples to apples comparison. Well, not apples to apples, like apple to pears at this moment. Well, I don't even know what any of that means. Don't listen to me on that part. You get the point. We're going to do a really good comparison of the two after I fix my gosh darn microphone placement. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclaim my hive real quick. Okay, there we go. I almost claimed my hive again, but we don't want to do that because we just want to do the spark staff and the golden rake. And we're going to stand completely still so that way the gummy boots do not interfere. Nothing interferes. It's just the golden rake versus the spark staff. I suppose we're going to start with the golden rake after I show you all the abilities on both. So right here is the golden rake as you can probably tell because it is literally a golden rake so i'm gonna stand here and i'm just gonna start swinging do you see that look at that see it's collecting from four lines and then there's the supercharged one where it gets really big like this there you go yeah pretty cool right so pretty much now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what this one does the spark staff how does the spark staff work it's pretty similar it's not similar at all it's actually just this look at this it's just uh i mean it's faster but like is it worth the extra 40 million honey or that 60 million that you could just spend on the porcelain dipper we'll find out in just a minute so first test i'm gonna do with the golden rake and then we're gonna do the second one with the spark staff it's gonna be a five minute test because the last time i did a comparison on anything it was a five minute test so five minute timer on google and we're gonna start this after i reset it and three two one and go Well, we have a bit of an intruder here. Oh boy, this is, uh, this is very strange. Uh, hello there. Hi, how are you? Um... How am I gonna do this? Should I just pause the timer? There, I paused the timer. Okay, that's... Dang it. <laughs> I hate that so much. Alright, and we're back on track. And we have just about 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6... Five, four, three, two, one. You get the point. Okay, so we're gonna go convert at the hive, and then we're gonna do our five-minute test using the spark staff. So here we go, converting our honey, and there we go. All right, done. So on screen now is how much honey that we made using the golden rake, and after we do our test with the spark staff, I'll have that amount of honey up, and then at the end, we're gonna do a comparison of how much each made, and I'm gonna explain why, whether, if it is or isn't worth it to get the uh, spark staff. So I've gotta unclaim my hive again real quick. All right, to the mountain top we go and okay so i'm gonna quickly place down our sprinkler and five four i close the timer five minute timer and five four three two and a one the timer has been started and now we are collecting for the next five minutes and we're gonna see how much we can collect And we are almost done. Five, four, three, two, and a one. And the timer is done. There we go. Okay, we've stopped. And then I'm going to stop the timer. Okay, so right after this test, we just finished it on screen. Now we have the golden rake and the spark staff and how much honey they made. And then at the bottom will be a comparison of the two. We're going to quickly empty our bag. And then you'll be able to see the numbers in just a second. And there you go. There's the numbers. That's the golden rake at the top. Spark staff on the bottom. And at the very, very bottom is the comparison of both of them. And 
and seeing how much the other one made and which one made more. So now it is time for our final test, a five minute test using the good old porcelain dipper to see if it's really worth it to spend 60 million on the spark staff after spending 20 million on the golden rake or you could use that 60 million to get close to the porcelain dipper. Let's see if it's actually worth it to save that or to buy the spark staff. And here we go. So I've got to unclaim my hive. Alrighty. And now in three, two, and a one, we're going to start our timer. And here we go. So that's the clock at five minutes. And now we just wait. And now we have about three seconds, three, two, one, and the timer is done. So we're going to stop this now and we're going to quickly empty out our backpack. All right. So on screen now I have how much the golden rake made, the spark staff made, and how much this porcelain dipper made. And we're going to give our final thoughts. So the theory is correct, in my opinion anyways. Yes, it is not a good idea to buy the spark staff, and it is better just to get the golden rake and move on to the porcelain dipper. Really, that was all the testing you really can do with these wands, because they're really, it's, mm, I'd prefer the golden rake not only for its ability, but also it's just, it's, the spark staff doesn't make enough to where it's actually good, and it's a useful gap between the golden rake and the spark staff, between the porcelain dipper and the golden rake. It's better just to keep the golden rake and then go all the way up to the porcelain dipper. It's just more cost effective, makes more sense, and that's really all I have to say about it. Hey, future William here. I just forgot to mention that we have our vector versatile vector. I, I, all right, let me restart that. I'm here to tell you that we have our versatile vector merch and our team tadpole merch on the link in the description. Uh, just click on the verse vector thing. Yeah, we also have a Discord server. Join it, please. So I hope you all did find this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next Roblox Beast Worm Simulator video or any other video that I publish. Goodbye!